Hi everybody. Um, as uh, some of you know, I am a, I have become an avid spinner, and uh, recently, uh, in the last six months, I learned a lot about using a distaff. Uh, which is a historical way in which people, particularly women, would carry around uh, wool or flax and spin from it. Uh, today there's something called a portable distaff, which would basically be a cord that hangs around the wrist. Uh, the roving is tied around that, the wool or the whatever cotton, whatever you're spinning at this time and it comes here and then you pull out and you're spinning at the same time. Um, with a distaff, a true distaff, one that's uh, not being held in the hand but maybe tucked in the belt, uh, you actually draft with one hand and you're spinning the um, spindle with another hand. And that's very important because you actually have better control over what you're doing. It's like driving, the difference between driving an automatic vehicle and then driving a stick shift. You have a little bit more control on the gears and how to um, gear down or speed up depending on what you need. Um, anyway, uh, to carry on. Uh, so I do a lot of spinning. I take my stuff to uh, my uh, doctor's offices and such lately. So I didn't want to carry around a distaff. A large one like this and I have three uh, that I made myself and so I wanted to make a portable distaff one that would come apart and I could put in a bag really easily or it would be um, well multifunctional so one of the big things is that you have to have it standing at some point so this one I have has a has a base here and I'm basically just going to take it apart and then put it back together and you can all see how this works so to start with, um, I'm going to take off the top here. I made a nice little floor de lis and I've tied my fiber onto that with just some cord that I've done before. That's basically the shape I made it. It's nice. It actually holds it on there really well. There's a little dowel opening there. Then I take apart this. And I take this little guy here off. And the cool part is the legs. Fold up like so. Then I have this, which is just a little bit bigger than the legs together. And of course, one small dowel piece and my fiber, which can be stored separately in a separate bag if I want so that uh, I have access to it. It doesn't have to be with the wood bits and such, um, sort of protected. But when I'm ready to put it all back together, it's really just a simple, you screw one in, down, legs pop out. I'm very happy about that. And probably, I don't know, I don't know how long it took me, probably like 30 seconds. I have my portable disc stuff. Next step is to make a bag for it, and um, yeah, I am so super excited. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am to have this. It's now in the making, and I'm pretty thrilled. So I just wanted to share it with you guys, and uh, 